Hey folks, Dave back here in Studio B, and uh, th tonight, uh, real quick, I want to show you how to move some things around in Strat PC Baseball, okay? These are some of the things that I either uh, figured out or was shown by somebody else, but I want to share that with you, because that's what we like to do here on the channel. So, without further ado, let's go uh, right down to the field. So, this is the generic stadium look here that you have with Strat Baseball, okay? Now, the big thing that I like to see here is if I go over to dice, you see how the cards come up and then disappear? Okay, I want those all the time. So the only way to get that to happen is to start making things move around. And how you do that is come over here to your options, go to your game screen layout, and go to custom layout. All right, that's the first thing you're going to do. And then once you hit OK, now you can start moving some things around. And in order to get that to show up, you have to move some things around. So... If you click on the frame of anything, you see how it turns and it turns? Okay, so if I click on this frame and now I get that little little symbol right here, I can move it around or I can grab the corner. I'm going to slowly bring that in like this. Okay, so that's the first thing I'm going to do. The play-by-play -play box does not need to be that big. So I'm going to shrink this all the way down. And then I'm going to bring that up over here. And again, you really do got to kind of just just do that just right to get this stuff to size and move around. Okay. So then I'm going to click on the, the side over here. And I'm going to just size that one a little bit and then bring that up. And again, if you want to, drag that over here and then make that the same size. So that way there you, you know that they're the same size. So now you can put... The uh, the pitcher on one side and the batter on the other side. But anyway, getting back to this. So we got to move some things around here. So let's click on this and move that out of the way. And we'll click on this and we'll move this out of the way. So now we can grab this and let's move this down to. Oh, just put this right here for now. Nope, that that messed up. Let me do this. Oh boy. There we go. It's real it's real finicky this thing here. So I'm gonna put the pitcher over on the pitcher and the batter on the batter. That's how I have my layout done. And now I'm gonna just bring this down just a little bit and I'll show you why. So now you can move all this stuff around over here if you like. And that's how you move things around. So, you know, if you want to put the dice right here on the stadium, you can put the dice right there in the stadium. If you want. So anything, anyway, everything moves around once you change those options there, okay? But that's how you, you um, unhide the cards there. And in fact, like I say, you got to be real careful. Mine disappeared on me for a second there, but I got it to come back. So let me show you what a few other things, uh, other things you can do here. So if you go to your options, go to your game screen layout. Uh, you see how the scoreboard is up here? It's kind of locked in, and then you get all the things over here. Uh, if I go to my... Ballpark uh, with a scoreboard location, show in frame. So what's going to happen now is my scoreboard is going to be in a frame that I can move all around. So you want to put it up over here. You put it up over here. You want to put it up over here. You put it up over here. If you want to stretch it out like this, you can stretch it out like that. You can make it big. You know, so that way there, now you can see the out-of-town scoreboard that we uh, we had. So you really can make this as big or as small as you want. And then you can move it around. So there's a couple of fields sometimes. Oop, oop, I hit the wrong button there. There's a couple of fields that had lights, and I moved the scoreboard around the lights. So if you want to see the Liberty Bell here, you can move this around and just center that just right there around the bell. So that's how you move the scoreboard around. Same with the ballpark info. Go into in, uh, options, game screen layout. Uh, let's see, where's the ballpark info? Show in frame. So again, show on the field. That's where it's in. It's locked just like the scoreboard. If you show on the frame... Now you get your ballpark info. And now you can move this around. You can stretch it out if you'd like. And, you know, if you want to put that, you know, over here, you can put it over here. So that's how you would do that stuff there. Everything you can move around once you go to your um, your custom layout. Uh, you, again, you get different scoreboard sizes. I like to have the big one there and showing it just like that. Now, a couple other things that are kind of neat. I like the so far today. That's a neat box to have. All right. And I like to put that right under my, my, oh boy, not that, my batter. Here, let me click on the side. There we go. 
So I'm going to move that down to about here. I'm going to move this down a little bit. Again, I'm not. This is not going to be lined up perfectly. But just gives you an idea. So now I can see. Okay, this, this is what he did today. So this is how I have mine set up roughly. Where I got my dice right here. I got my so far today, and I got my play by play. So if I click on the dice here, no, let me see. I'm going to go to game preferences, dice mode, blah blah blah. Let's see, Dodds. Dice rolls automatically. All right, so we should be able to go. There we go. Dice are rolling now, and so. You can see that this was a fly ball. I get my play-by-play -play right here, and the next batter comes up. So that's how you move some things around. Uh, as far as in the field, if you go to your options, game screen layout, and box the defense, what does that mean? Well, you see how there's little boxes around the defense? I'm going to take that off, and now the defense, it's just text. And you can change the color of that text. So if I go to defense color, you know, maybe you want to make this red. Okay, and now you'll see that the defense is red. Now, you can't really see it too well, so now you're going to go back and say, eh, what do I want to make it today? So I'm going to go to my defense color, and uh, let's try a yellow. And so we'll go yellow, and now yellow looks a little bit better. But now the offense is yellow. So I'm going to go to my game screen layout. I'm going to go to offensive color, and we'll make the offense gray. So now it's gray on the box here. And again, if you want to get rid of the box here, so it says box offense, get rid of that. And now there's no box around that. Sometimes, depending on the field, you probably, oh, wrong one here, you probably want to have everything boxed. Okay, box offense, box defense, and now everything's boxed and do that. Another thing you can do that's kind of neat is you can move the, the fielders around. But it, it's kind of... Um, it's like old, you know, math, X, Y axis, you know, trigonometry. So I'm going to move Maddox over to the left. So I'm going to go options, edit ballpark locations. All right. So now I'm going to go to my center fielder. Now you see how that lights up? The only way you can do it is X, Y axis. And it's all trial and error as far as I can tell. So right now he's on 321. I'm going to go to 300. And you can see he moved a little bit to the left. So I'm going to go OK. And now he, slot, he slid over to center. And for me, just being um, OCD, that looks a little bit better. And you can really move a lot of things around, too. You can go back to your edit ballpark options. And again, all this stuff can be moved. You know, your center fielder. Um, you can move your pitchers. You can move, um, you know, all kind, anything you want to move, you can move. Just be careful, because if you really screw it up, then you can really screw it up. And there's a few other options on here that I'm not using. Uh, I just kind of let it ride as it is. But anyway, so you can move guys around. So, okay, so here's home plate. Maybe you want to slide home plate a little bit over, you know, to the left so you can do that. So you can say, okay, home plate. Let's bring that over to 316 now. And I'll say, okay, so it just, just slides home plate over just a little bit more for whatever reason. And then if we roll the dice, you can see how he pitches. And, yep, that looks a little better right there. What else can you do? Oh, then you want to save it. Game stream layout. Save the layout and save it, whatever, whatever you want. Go to save layout and then save it for whatever you want to do. You can see I have all my different layouts saved as I went over and, and improved them and moved them around. I would always save. I'm up to 14 of them. Save the layout. And then you can go in and load the layout. So if I want to show you my last layout, I'm going to go load layout. Day 14 was the last one I did. And OK, and this is the current layout that I use right now. Pretty similar to what I had set up. But that's how you do it there. There's a few other options in here. If you go to game screen layout, uh, the detail for Pi, that's over here. That's going to be like the chances of hits and home runs and outs. So if you take that off, it's going to go to a pie chart, which is going to show you home run on base and out. So if you want to come back over here to your game screen layout and put the detail back on, there you go. Uh, again, the the boxes on the defense, you know, I like to use them sometimes. I think maybe I'll put them back on, and I'll go defensive color white in this game. And so now you can see I all my guys are boxed in white, and they're very, very um, readable. So th that's kind of things you can do in here. Um, I have player picks on because I did have the player picks. And you can see I got them sized up kind of nice. I, I like how I have the box here. So I got Ellis Valentine over the batter and Steve Carlton over the pitcher. It's too bad that this is the 4, 5, 6, and this is the 1, 2, 3. But I don't know how to swap the name, so I'm just going to go with it that way and live with it. Um, you got the actual stats, the game stats, and that's all over here. I like to, have, I like to keep pretty much everything on uh, for the most part. And I think that's about it. So anyway...
Let me come back to uh, Studio B. So, so then that's um how you can move some things around a Strat PC baseball. You really can't put logos or anything like that in there. But as far as once you get into the game, you can really move all that stuff around and size it to you know what you like. In fact, if you can really get good at it. You can change some of the backgrounds on some of those boxes as well. Uh, I on one of those I darkened him. I think it was the um, the batting lineup it was a light brown, and I couldn't read the red, so I went into Photoshop and I darkened it up a little bit so it's like a dark brown. And now I can read everything a little bit better. But in theory, you can go in and if and f if you figure out where all the images are and you know change them all, or change the backgrounds or whatever. I haven't done that yet. If I do that, I'll do a video on that. But anyway, I'm Dave. I hope you like this uh, video on Strat PC kind of custom it your own way. Maybe this will be part one. Maybe I'll have a part two coming up. We'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.